Hello, Water Tribe. Welcome to your weekly oracle messages. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. And if you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. I'm still offering May's special tarot offers. I have two going on. One, it's called Tales of the Earth, and it's a reading that focuses on bringing forward messages of both spiritual and material growth. And the other one is a reading that's called In Between the Sheets, and it's more focused into relationship dynamics, particularly themes of uh, intimacy, sexuality, and the nature of pleasure. So if you would like to know more info about those or any other of my tarot services, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below, and as well my Facebook and Instagram page. Now, Water Tribe. I do feel like uh, the majority of you during this week are being called to have fun, to be more in this uh, vibration of joy or to connect, for some of you actually reconnect with things that make you feel happy and to whatever, despite of whatever challenges some of you are going through, I think that there's an energy here of you not feeling guilty or you not feeling like you can't have fun in your life or this vibration of joy just because there's other things about it that you know don't really make you uh you know feel content or satisfied with how things are going or just because there are situations that are not going as you would like them to go there's another part of you and another part of your life right in which you still being kind of attracted or um impelled i i feel like some of you are really being kind of um guided to go in a, on a direction of joy despite of whatever it's going on because i feel like for some water signs what's going on that has this negative charge or connotation over you it, it's not even from you i feel like some of you are being in a way overwhelmed or absorbing negativity that comes from external influences and i think that if you reconnect with things that make you happy as mundane and simple as they are you can have you know a very uplifting and needed recovery in your in your mental and emotional and physical health some of you really need to you know raise frequency raise vibration some of you would do wonders in being out there in nature or just dancing being creative being in contact again with truly what makes you happy in an individual manner i do think that some of you also need to disconnect a little bit from uh, relationships or situations again that are you know taking a lot of space from you or taking a lot of your energy some of you need might need to work during this time as well in building a sense of um, stronger boundaries or you know um, calling in as well spiritual protection because I think that you're more you know sensitive and susceptible to again attract or absorb energy that you shouldn't be absorbing and I think that there's a lot of people in water signs life that are putting a lot of BS onto you and you are allowing it in a certain way now there's others of you as well that have this energy during this time of seeking clarity so some of you are looking for answers some of you might be facing a lot of doubts or a lot of whys i feel like there's a lot of questions here about the purpose of certain things and experiences in your life or situations you're looking for guidance i do feel that um I do feel, though, that that clarity and that guidance that you're looking for, some of you might, again, find that or find, you know, um, the information you need when you are more in, on the move or when you're being creative, involved, you know, with the process itself of understanding the situations, maybe from different as well, from different angles. Um, for Cancer, I do feel like with this beautiful card, which is Innocence, I think that some of you are going to uh, exactly align yourselves with this energy 
of needing to be surrounded by nature, beauty, understanding the wisdom that lies, um, the wisdom and the wisdom that lies in the simple joys in life and yet the depth of it. Some of you are really, um, I think that some of you are going to find happiness in unexpected places, which mean that I think that some of you could benefit as well from just, you know, if you feel it, you, the, the urge to go out and walk by yourself, do things by yourself, I think that that can be uh, hugely, hugely important for some of you to reconnect with something or to have this, you know, uh, perception of something, you know, coming to you that might just, you know, change the way you have been looking to something, to a specific situation that has been tiring. I think that some of you have something in your life that is tiring you. Uh, either you, I, I feel like some of you have been in a little bit of this energy of battlefield, battlefield, which means that you might have some conflicts or struggles in your life, um, differences that might have been creating a little bit of a war zone. And I think that there's some wisdom to be gathered here by um, being more with yourself during this time frame and yet feeling like you're not at all right alone. There's a lot of things around you, energies, uh, kind of wanting to communicate with Cancer. I think that some of you really have a lot of, um, it's like symbolism of energies kind of <laughs> being thrown at you for you to read it, interpret it, give it your meaning, give it your, uh, communication and verbalize those those uh, actu actually actualize those symbols in ways that you can get closer to understanding whatever you need to understand about your life that might make you confused might might be making you confused I also feel like some of you aside of all of this there's moments of happiness for cancer I think that some of you are really going to have uh, you know, moments of joy and bliss in your life, feeling like appreciated as well, um, or loved and supported by uh, your your closest friends or family. I think that some of you have something here as well during this time frame where you might be. It's like given a miracle, given you know. A, given proof of something that uh, you were in need um, to, to, you know, of that proof to believe in something. Because also this war zone or this conflict, tension, tiredness here might have been about, or power struggles that some of you have been involved with might be, might be something uh, connected with trust issues. And I think that something is being given to you during this time frame to show you that it's okay to trust. For Scorpio, there's a lot of clarity as well here that you're seeking. I think that some of you are going to have, you know, a lot of vision uh, during this time frame. You know, your third eye is really stimulated and capable to see through any confusion, lie, deception. Um, you're being able to really get to the core and to the point of situations, which means that some of you are being called to understand the truth of the matter. Some of you are kind of, um, so I think that some Scorpius have been, you know, in this dance, in circles, avoiding situations, or again, going in circles about it. And I think that you're being called to stop and be, you know, assertive or be direct about this approach of whatever you are wanting to say, decide, do, I also feel like some of you have this like this declaration to make that you might be um, feeling like you can't yet say something, do something, affirm something because you don't have the full understanding or information. Some of you are seeking for info. I really think that there's like this detective energy as well about you, Scorpio, during this week where you might be seeking for proof or as well or, or clues or... You know, but I think that for, for Scorpio is really factual. It's not like for cancer. I think that some of you are really digging for, you know, uh, researching as well for real information, right? It's not just about, uh, 
I think that some of you, you know, might be involved in a um, situation during this time frame where you need to decide things concerning, you know, documents, legalities, you know, decisions that might, you know, affect um, situations in your life in which there's, you know, agreements. There's something here about agreements. Either you, some of you wanting to be done with an agreement, be done with a relationship, be done with something you are either legally or binded by or or can or committed to or, or have been committed to maybe you want to sever ties from something like that or you will be given the chance to have something like this happen like a contract uh, signing a contract signing something uh, or receiving you know documentation that will favor you somehow into your future plans some of you might um, as well be receiving you know, uh, emails, uh, mail itself, a lot of, you know, different uh, formats of, you know, information and communication coming to you that might just be what you needed to find, you know, um, what you have been looking for. I think that the answers uh, for Scorpio are going to come in a, you know, uh, visible way. It, it, it might be in the form of really something landing on your on your door on your lap you know it's 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 like something is given to scorpio for them to have an awakening or have this truth revealed there's a real sense of revelation this awe moment where things might you know start to make sense for uh, start to make sense for um some of you Scorpio, Scorpios that have been sensing something, that there's something, you know, that they don't know, something they're not being told about. I think that that is, is going to, in a way, be confirmed uh, for you during this week. For Pisces, Pisces are here, you know, very, in this very dualistic energy, you know, in, in debate. There's a sense of debate about options, choices, ways. Uh, I feel like some of you Pisces don't really know where your heart lies and so because you don't know where your heart lies you might not really know what choice to make or some of you are torn between heart and mind which means there, are, there might be situations that call for both um, call for both sides of you and they don't match I think that there's something in your life that it's not compatible that it's not matching and you might need to choose one so you can leave the other and so to create i'm sorry balance this is uh the schizophrenia card right but for me this is the card again it talks about being torn feeling torn divided a real sense of division about one thing and the other usually it also shows by having you know two uh different type of belief systems or thinking uh working in the same mind and so of course creating your war or a big you know conflict because you're divided you're fragmented into different options here and different ways to go about uh whatever you want to to do i think that this this has something to do with planning strategy uh choosing you know the most profitable option to invest something, to approach something. This is about an approach. I think that some of you want to be, be, be very cautious or very careful, or you feel like you need to be very careful about the choices you make, where you put your money, where you put your attention, where you put your love. You're very cautious about this, but this might be in a way that this cautiousness, it's, it's a way to mask more of a deeper fear here in which you might be taking things to a point where you're being too slow about it you know and you might need to be more proactive more in control of situations so that they are not always in this swing energy because what i feel is like you are swinging between things and so you're just creating more division I don't think your clarity will come by, you know, swing. I think that some of you really need to stop, think, consider, reconnect again with things that 
uplift your spirit, raise your vibration, raise your fre frequency for more, you know, ask for guidance, ask for clarity and recharge batteries. But, you know, um, have more trust as well. Have more trust on you and in what you feel deep inside, because I think that some of you in the mind as well, there's so much, you know, um, clutter and noise and unnecessary, you know, um, info that it's, it's like making everything, you know, f overwhelming and you can't really find the picture or see the picture. You, I think that some of you don't understand the picture of something. And I think that some of you, again, need to, to be more on top of situations. You need to control, uh, what you want to control because i also feel like some of you are afraid to be in this um leadership energy or to take the lead to take a lead on something you might not feel you know comfortable with um being on the forefront of a project an idea or relationship but you might need to in order to as well have you know um your heart committed with whatever choice you make because if you're not committed with with something you want to do, doubt will always find a way to make you, uh, to, to, to make you in a way sabotage the process of what you are truly aspiring to achieve. So I hope you all air signs, I'm sorry, water signs have a great week. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And hopefully we'll see each other soon.